back to Rick Lampson Talks. The title today is Tragedy. Listen to this. Bob and Penny Stifer took early retirement from their jobs in the Northeast five years ago when he was 59 and she was 51. Now they live in Punta Gorda, Florida, where they cruise on their 30-foot trawler, play softball, and collect shells. The American dream. Come to the end of your life, your one and only life, and let the last greatest work before you give an account to your creator be, I collected shells. See my shells. My friends, that is a tragedy. So we see today in our world, people spending billions of dollars persuaded that somehow, some way, if they only get to that dream, they'll be fulfilled. That, my friends, is a tragedy. So, uh, are you uh, really focused in your life on things that matter? Are you really focused on, on things that are going to last forever? Uh, do you sit sometimes as you look back at your life, and even now presently, that you're really wasting your life? How do you not waste your life? Well, first of all, you got to come to know Christ. But coming to know Jesus, and by coming to know Jesus, I mean in a personal relationship where you have seen your need for his love, his forgiveness, his power, and you ask him, invite him, and receive him into your life. He promises if you do that, he will come in. But that's not the end. That's just the beginning. We've got too many people sitting in pews around this country, and at best, that's all they've done, invited him in. It makes absolutely no difference in how they live in their families, in their private life, and in any arena of their life. Jesus, when he comes in, wants to create a revolution in us. He wants to transform us. So how do we do that? What, what is the cliff note version of how to do that? Here you go. Write this down. I hope you're taking notes. Unless you have a photographic memory, Matthew chapter 22, verse 37 and 38, Jesus said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like unto it, You should love your neighbor as you love yourself. We have put a book together that's all over this country based upon the four principles that come out of those verses. It's called the four priorities. You say, well, you're trying to sell books. You're daggone right I am. I'll give it to you if you don't have the money. If you read this book and study this book on each one of these four priorities based on Matthew 22, 37 to 39, your life will never be the same again. Your personal life will be enriched. Your married life will be enriched. Your business and professional life will be enriched. And on and on and on it goes. This is God's plan for every one of us who come to know him. So, Stop wasting your life. Begin to live it with his help on the four priorities that come from Matthew 22, 37 to 39. Let me hear from you when you begin to do that. It's going to change your life.